All right, everybody, listen up. These are orders from the Hargan Scene Defense Headquarters. The Aiden forces are on their way and will reach the defensive line at any moment. Judging from the scale of their last attack, this time we'll be facing an all-out assault from their main force. We've called in our forces from neighboring systems, but we're still not sufficiently prepared, thanks to the chaos caused by Aiden's attacks. We beat them last time, but from now on, we'll be dealing with their main fleet. Things aren't going to be as easy. If we're going to defend Earth, we must not let Aiden take the Ingress system. To weaken the enemy and set up our counterattack, Headquarters is initiated Operation Nebula Blaze. The operation entails making a feigned attack on Aiden territory. The enemy is currently focused on the Ingress system, so there may be gaps at the rear of their offensive lines. A mid-sized fleet is going in behind enemy lines to cause panic and divide their forces. The operation organized a 17th Independent Fleet, under the command of Vice Admiral Nicholas Vieira, former commander of the Levendor Fleet. This fleet will cooperate in an attack on the enemy's main force, so we can cut through their lines and force our way into their territory. The Acropolis will be joining the 17th Independent Fleet for Operation Nebula Blaze. Also, in recognition of their effectiveness in battle, the Acropolis' 931st Training Squadron has officially been raised to a full combat unit. It will be known as the 931st Squadron, the White Griffins. Standing in for me as leader of Rhino Flight is Lieutenant Katana Faraway. Ensign Yoji Kashiwazaki from the Yatsuka Fighter Wing Squadron will fill the vacancy in Rhino Flight. That's all for now. I'll be giving you orders from the Acropolis from now on. Do your best out there.